<laughs> All right. Uh, did you record that too? <laughs> All right, Peter Gibson is my name. Marketing magnets is part of my game. They influence your health, they take care of your pain. If you know someone with diabetes, put some magnetic insoles on their feeties. If you've got someone that's got back pain that can't be beat, put them on a magnetic seat. And I'll remind you again, these are on sale, $79 until supplies last. All right, that's the spiel. Now, let's talk about me. Why I do what I do. And the, uh, this, there's a main theme here I want to carry through for you in the next 10, 15 minutes. It's called move. Moving. Movement. All right? You've got to move. I'm going to talk about that from two aspects. <clears throat> I do two things, as, you, as most of you know. I market health products, and I look for other people to help me market health products. This is a network marketing business, so I build networks of people that market my products for me. I'm in seven countries. Um, my business has expanded pretty dramatically. Um, I've had a very poor year this year because my passion is travel, as is my wife's and my son's. We went to Honduras for Christmas. We went to Turkey for spring break. I took a 10-day, 84-mile hike with my son in New Mexico um, after that. We just got back from three weeks in Europe. So it's been a horrible year. <laughs> uh, but I share that with you because that's my passion. My passion from the age of really, as long as I can remember, 7, 8, 9, 12, 14. My mother's from Germany. We would go back and forth to Germany. Um, I picked up the passion for travel when I was at school. I remember the, uh, the, the teacher would come back, and back in those old days, you had slides, and every summer he'd be traveling all over the world, and he'd show his slides everywhere, and that sort of got, got, me, got me started on, wow, well, if he can do that, so can I, perhaps. Um, and then I, uh, at the age of 14, threw a backpack. I moved in with my aunt and uncle. They owned a pub, and um, I still had a passion for travel. My aunt was very open-minded and gave me a long, a long reign, free reign, which I hadn't had before. And uh, I disappeared for a week, threw a backpack on, took the uh, ferry across to France and hitchhiked around France by myself. I think I had about $15 in my pocket, slept in, in uh, vineyards, and met people that uh, exposed all sorts of tricks as to where to sleep, because you always run into other backpackers. Um, I would hold a pack of cigarettes in my hand to hitchhike, and the truckers would pick you up, give them a pack of cigarettes. It was safe to do all that back then, so that's, that's the kind of loosey-goosey, on-the-move lifestyle that I've always had. I came back, my aunt said, uh, missed you, where you been? <laughs> I said, well, I went to France. She said, you probably need a bath. <laughs> I said, yeah, I could do, I could use a bath. Uh, so, you know, I love that open-minded um, 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 uh, attitude that my aunt had. But I tell you all of that because I, uh, we all, we're all looking for a vehicle, right? And Nikan's been a vehicle for me. My wife is from Belgium, and she loves to travel. She speaks four languages. It's really interesting. We're in Greece this uh, summer, and we're renting the car, and the first language we need in Greece is German. So uh, luckily I turned to my wife. <laughs> so that's what she does. Uh, a lovely woman, and we love to travel. But Nikan's been a vehicle for me. And we're all looking for vehicles. Some of you have found them. It's about balance. It's about uh, finding the balance that you need. And, and Peter Vajda touched on that. Is, 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 is we're all looking for a balance emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially. And that's what leads me to uh, the, the theme today, moving into a way to find the balance that you need. And Nikan's got a philosophy. It's called Five Pillars of Health. And that's what they do. They're pursuing balance. And they, they're looking for people that want balance. And if you want balance physically, financially, emotionally, um, to, to serve the community, the family, as you do with your chiropractic care, then that's why I've chosen Nikan as a vehicle. So let me, let me uh, go back to the movement theme because I want to talk about the, the other side. Now, I, uh, I, I, I'm dealing with two issues here, marketing products, finding other people to help me market those products. So let's talk about why magnetic therapy, why why would you even want to see? There's too many products to talk about in the time that I have here today. Well, let's talk about the, the issues of, of movement. 
magnets move blood. How many people here think that blood flow kind of important? <laughs> right. Okay. Basically what magnets do, they move the blood. We have iron in our blood, right? We are electromagnetic beings. Our, our brain sends signals electromagnetically through the, through the synapses and our blood is flowing um, electromagnetically. Our heart actually sends out the electromagnetic energy. True, Mrs. Chiropractor, mm -hmm. right? Um, so here's a study that was put out. This was in Fortune magazine recently. It says the average American spends half his waking hours seated on a couch in a car at the computer at his desk. S several studies have revealed that if you spend more than three hours a day sitting, you are cutting two, hour, two years off of your life. Two years off of your life. We're designed to move. If you're not moving, the metabolism's not activating, so you're, getting, you're building up fat muscles. If you're not moving, your blood's not flowing. If you're not moving, there's no, uh, uh, the, 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 all the soft tissues and all the lymphatics, they're not flowing. Get the, 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 the body moving again. Right, so you've got to be moving. Some of you have seen me in meetings where I'm not sitting in the meeting, I'm standing up at the back of the room because I want to keep moving. I'm moving my legs, I'm moving my arms, right? right? Dancing around there. I'm 57, 58 in March, so you know, wow. things, are, things are good. I, I live this stuff. So, you've got to be moving. Unfortunately, we live in a society that doesn't encourage us to move. You've got to sit to work, unfortunately. Previous to the Industrial Revolution, what kind of work were we doing? manual labor, physical, whether it was a skill, carpentry, masonry, whatever. I just got back from Europe and seen some the marvels of, of masonry over there, the architecture, uh, physically. But we've moved into an industrial era where we're sitting. So you've got to move, you've got to move. I want you to pass this around. Here's, here's a good visual for you. Some people need visuals. So here's a good visual. This, this here is, is uh, what we call thermography. Some of you may be familiar with thermography. It reads the, the, the hot spots in the body. And, and the person that put this together is, is a highly intelligent individual who was very skeptical of magnetic therapy. He said, no, no way, no way, no way. So Curtis Bennett over here said, let me look at this, because he had actually had a business measuring using th thermo thermography where heat was escaping from buildings so that he could then go to the owners and say, you can save you money, you save you energy, and so forth. We find these leaks. So he used that technology to look at the body, the reading of the body. So here's a great example. This, uh, this lady here uh, has a, a reflex sym sympathetic dystrophy, uh, loss of control of blood, in this case to her left arm. She was told the arm would shrivel up and die. Increasing nerve conduction, in effect, turns on the switches in the electric body this is what we did with her using the magnetic therapy. So you can see before I'll pass it around, before magnetics, there's really no movement. There's no flow. After magnetics, you can see where the blood is back.